So in today's literacy lesson we are going to be having a look at a model text and having a look at some persuasive features but before we do I have spotted some tricky spellings. So we are going to have a look at this full okay and it's coming at the end of root word so think if it comes at the beginning or the end so is it a prefix or a suffix? Have a little think. Okay, if it's coming at the end, it is a suffix. And the suffix full just means full of. So, when we add full to the root word, it usually stays the same. So here, fearful. Thankful. Doubtful, so being full of something. Full of fear, if you are frightened, you are fearful. But if the root word ends in a Y, it usually becomes an I when full is added. So we wouldn't just say beautiful and add it on the end like this. It's incorrect. My Y would change to an I. And I would add full. Same with this one. Plentiful. So keep that in mind and see if you can spot any of those words when we look at our model text. So I'm going to read it to you first of all and think as I am reading about anything that is persuading you, anything that is making you think, oh yes, I need to help. Java and rhinos are beautiful mammals with majestic horns. Their bodies are covered in a tough skin that protects them. There are currently on the critic they are currently on the critically endangered list. Unfortunately, there are only 60 left in the wild, which is evidence of this. It is vital that we do something to help. Their homeland has been destroyed and poachers have hunted them for their horns. This is so unfair. Therefore, we must work together to stop this wonderful species from becoming extinct. Please help. So I want you to think about anything that has persuaded you, anything that's been persuasive. So I'm going to have a look first of all, and something that made me think was this word here, vital. And this word here, destroyed. Now, vital just means very, very important. Okay, so it is vital that we do something to help. And here, the homeland has been destroyed. So the writer has chosen to use the word, they've chosen carefully to use the word destroyed rather than ruined or spoilt or damaged to make us really feel sorry for these animals. We have also got here, I can spot, there are only 60 left in the wild. So we've got some statistics, some facts. And here, please help. It's as if the author, the writer is begging us. This is so unfair. Now, when you are having a look, we are looking for certain things. We are looking for a view. So the view in the rhinos was to make sure that poachers were no longer killing them, to make sure they do not become extinct. And reasons for that. There should be facts and evidence to make people think, well, it's absolutely true. Um, some connective conjunctions in there. So the writing flows and persuasive devices. So obviously, without doubt, we've used these before. Of course. Powerful adjectives and rhetorical questions. We've done lots on rhetorical questions. So remember, it's a question which pretty much answers itself. A question which really makes you think, oh, actually, I do agree. And then you need a conclusion at the end. So I have written one here. Dear sir or madam, I have recently been informed of your plans to cancel the collection of plastic waste. This is an idea which I completely disagree with. I am confident that the council will abolish plans to make these cuts. In order to cancel the current effective bin collection, the council intends to provide costly additional bins. This is sure to greatly impact the council's budget in a negative way. Many people believe that the initial cost of the new bins will be greater than the cost of maintaining current collections. It therefore seems wasteful to change the current way of working. I am confident that the council would not intentionally make a wasteful decision. Residents fear that the council's proposed changes will result in an unpleasant, dirty waste littering the streets due to the lack of proper recycling methods. 
Our town streets are likely to become overrun with rodents feeding from the unhygienic litter, which has not been properly recycled due to council cuts. Obviously, this will lead to a rise in pest control costs. This would cost the council more money than the initial cuts would save. Additionally, the environmental impact of this seemingly reckless decision would be catastrophic. Although you acknowledge that your current system aims to remove plastic waste from regular collections, how many pieces of plastic waste are simply missed? This oversight could result in millions of pieces of perfectly recyclable plastic being carelessly dumped into landfill. The council simply must prioritise environmental well-being. Ultimately, the public are adamantly opposed to the council's decision and demand a meeting to present all relevant facts. Once these are presented, I am confident that the council will see the error in their ways and revoke the decision. Yours faithfully, Mrs Annoyed. So you have got this example in your um, work pack and I want you to highlight some of the features that have been used to show that it is a persuasive text. Now I think the writer here has been very clever by using things like I am confident that the council will see the error. So that it's basically saying we want you to change your mind, but we are confident in you. We know you will make the right decision. Now, there is some vocabulary in here that you may be unsure of. So things like revoke. Revoke, so revoke the decision just means to change your mind. If you revoke something, you do the opposite. So you ch you've changed your mind. If you revoke the decision, you change the decision. You take it away. So what I want you to do, looking at all of these different features, which again, you've got in your work pack, highlight any features that you can see. And this is the time now to use a model to impact on your own writing. So anything that you think, oh, I like that. So ultimately, additionally, in order. Okay. See if you can magpie some of those ideas.